Beginning in the early 17th century, the wives of four generations of Bavarian rulers had their apartments in this area of the residence. The apartments are now called the Papal Rooms, after a visit to the residence by Pope Pius VI in 1782. In 1666, Electress Henriette Adelaide, a princess of the House of Savoy, had her mother's-in-law apartments remodeled in the ornate late Baroque style associated with the Italian city of Turin. Elector Karl Albrecht had the ornate rooms, one of the most sumptuous sequence of rooms in the entire residence, designed and furnished for three years from 1730 to 1733 by the architect François Cuvillier. The architect designed not only the floor plan of the rooms, but also their furnishings, encompassing everything from the carved wall paneling and ceiling stucco to parts of the furniture. In the audience chamber of the ornate rooms, foreign envoys were granted audiences in the presence of the entire court. The elector received his guest standing beneath a red velvet canopy and in front of a chair placed on a dais covered with a carpet. In the Green Gallery, splendid gatherings took place on two evenings a week, when the elector invited selected members of court to attend. On such occasions, the gallery and the other rooms in the sequence were brightly lit. The light from hundreds of candles increased by their reflection in the large mirrors and the gilding of the walls. The Green Gallery, which takes its name from the wall hangings of green silk damask, was a gallery of mirrors, used not only for festive gatherings, but also for displaying pictures. The paintings in their elaborate gilt frames are arranged above one another in tiers of three, alternating with tall mirrors. In the conference chamber of the Reichert Zimmer, Elector Karl Albrecht conducted political or private conversations. Because this room occupied a more important place in court etiquette than the other reception room in ornate room, its stucco carving and furnishings are even more ornate. As one early document reveals, the state bedroom in the ornate room served only display, not the comforts of relaxation. Elector Karl Albrecht of Bavaria was following the lead of the French royal court, but he didn't adopt another role of the state bedroom in French court etiquette. The architect François Cuvillier followed French practice by adjoining two small rooms or cabinets to the state bedroom. The first was designed as a room for writing and relaxing and the second is a cabinet of mirrors and porcelain. Large mirrors were among the most expensive luxury goods in the 18th century. The previous rooms in the ornate room contained single mirrors of this kind, but in this cabinet virtually the entire wall space is covered with them. Their reflections offer constantly changing views of the lavish gilt, carving and stucco in the room. This tiny room is the cabinet of miniatures, is the last of the ornate room.